here tonight because I think I represent thousands of citizens in the city who are concerned about these meetings and what they do to the reputation of the city. Uh, as you know, we've, we've had problems in these meetings, problems with behavior and decorum and so forth. And I think the problem that many citizens are worried about is when this behavior goes up on YouTube and in the press, and that's how Wilkes-Barre is seen to the public, after a while, these episodes rub off on your reputation. And that's, after a while, people are going to think of Wilkes-Barre as a place where there's just never ending muscling contests. And people aren't going to want to live here, they're not going to want to move here, and they aren't going to want to be here. So I'm here on behalf of the citizens to just simply ask everyone in government and all the citizens involved in public policy. When you get involved in public policy, you represent the city, act in your best behavior, always be professional, and always be civil. And always be civil. And I want to present a couple principles to you that I think will help advance the image of the city. The first one, of course, is civility and professionalism that I just talked about. Just a reminder that <coughs> when you act publicly, you represent the city and how you act reflects on the city just as much as what you say. The second thing I think we need to do is establish a representative democracy that actually works. Um, in your calendar 2011, you published the districts in the city and who represents them. What I would like to see the city do is publish this same map in the local newspapers and list who represents each district and how the council people want to be contacted. If, if citizen has a problem, do you want a phone call, a letter, an email? How can we contact you if we have a problem or an issue that we want you to look into? So who are people, a lot of people in the city don't know who represents who and how to contact you. But I think if you could publish this map, who represents each district, and how you folks want to get contact, it would help the citizens immensely. I know I met a lot of you on the campaign trail, you have some new bunkers, some new faces, and I know you need to serve, and I know you need to make a difference. And uh, I think if folks know where you are, how to get in contact with you, it would make things a lot easier. The third, the third principle I want to offer you today is expect person. I, I spent my whole life in public service and in private sector, serving the public. And when you serve the public, you can expect criticism. It comes every day, and it comes constantly. It comes with the territory of the seat and where you sit. So when people are criticizing you, I would ask you to accept it as part of your job, handle it the best way you can, solve the problems the best way you can, but never retaliate. Never retaliate against the citizens as a problem. Because that's your job to listen to them and solve that problem. And if you serve in the public, expect criticism and don't expect credit for what you're doing. That's been my experience. I'm sure you can find it. That's going to be your experience as well. Thank you for your time, and I hope these principles are of service to you and your city. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.